Hello, world. Welcome to Friday Follow Up here on Two Guys on the Couch. I am George. And I'm Joe. We're here to wade through the bullshit to give you our opinions on upcoming movies and games. Uh, start off some news from one of our new favorite directors, Matthew Vaughn. Well, he's been a favorite of mine since Layer Cake. But he is going to be directing, helming X Men First Class, which is set to release June 3rd, 2011, unless it gets delayed or pushed. Now, originally I was worried about this film because I had doubt they were going to go with the original First Class, which, according to what the uh, release said, they're not. It, they're going to have old ones and new mutants. It's like, so let's just throw more mutants in there that we don't fucking need instead of just having the original five. And it's also a the, going to encounter the biggest threat uh, to Earth, which... What? We're thinking it might be Apocalypse. Or maybe Sinister. But that's going to be dumb for a first class storyline, because that should be part of a trilogy storyline with the new set of mutants. Come on, that would make sense. Bullshit. Another one of our favorite directors after we saw their first film, Undead, the Spurg Brothers, are going to be directing the sequel to Dark Crystal, Power of the Dark Crystal. Yes, now... I am excited. I'm a huge fan of the original Dark Crystal. I love the world. I love the imagery. I love the whole concept of the Dark Crystal. The, what worries me about this movie is the fact that they're making it 3D, so I'm hoping they don't do a lot of cheap 3D tricks, and they shoot it starting from 3D instead of trying to do post-production 3D, which always makes it look flat and bland. Mm -hmm. Now, this movie takes place hundreds of years after the original one, and it's supposed to be a mix of Muppets, live action, and CG. Now, when they say live action, I'm hoping they don't mean people. Because the thing about... The, the thing that made Dark, Dark Crystal so unique was it was all puppets. There were no live people in it. So I'm, I'm worried about that, because that's the concept. That's the whole point of the Dark Crystal. It is a total fantasy movie. It's actually what you could probably consider the only real fantasy movie out there. I am the Emperor. <laughs> but uh, there's some news that's going to be coming out today. Well, well most people are going to see it today is the secret J.J. Abrams trailer before Iron Man. We haven't seen Iron Man yet. We're going to see it. Yeah. Uh, today, but so we don't really know what the secret trailer is. We but do. from the news that yeah. uh, they said it's uh, some kid is developing a Super 8 film and it's supposed to take place in the 70s or 80s or whatever, and he sees an alien in one of the pictures. Yeah, now there was speculation that this was like a prequel to Cloverfield, but JJ's come out and says this has nothing to do with Cloverfield. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus! There was a picture released of what Thor is going to be looking like in the new yeah. Thor movie. I think it looks fantastic. I think he looks like Thor. I'm glad they got rid of the blue circles on his chest. But see, I think they were always gold. They were set on a blue shirt, though. No, no, no. The new version of him, they're like glowing blue fucking circles. They look stupid. You're right, you're right. But, but I think they're supposed no to be silver, but it looks blue. It's. It makes no sense. It, they lo it looks... More realistic, which is what they should always do when Ex it comes to these movies. Except for his arms, they d I don't know if they're going for a chainmail look or if it's supposed to be like just a padded look. It, it, looks, it looks very rubbery. It looks weird. I think it looks like rubber, but I still think it looks like a fantastic pic picture. And there is rumor that he is supposed to make an appearance in Iron Man. Which and I do know that there is a clip after the credits of Iron Man. Which so stay there and watch him. Hmm, genius. Some gaming news coming out of Valve. It's just they released like a 30 second little trailer for Team Fortress 2. The engineers getting an update. And mm -hmm. these, the, I love their little short films that they do with the Team Fortress characters. And I want them to make just a fucking animated movie. Yes. Because it, it would be so badass because they would be good at it. I mean, like, what was it? The uh, Heavy, where he was talking about you can't outrun the bullet? Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't outrun. Uh, He's like, you can't, uh, can't outsmart. Him. You can't outsmart a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> like they're just really great uh, little short films. They're very Pixar kind of quality. Yeah, and it gives the char characters character. Mm -hmm. 
and that's what's that's what's needed. And it's there. It's they've always done well. And Team Fortress is a great game on the PC. Unfortunately, they didn't keep the the uh, console one updated, but I can understand why. No one was playing it, mm -hmm. so why bother updating it? And I'm pretty sure Microsoft will make them pay for it anyway. Of course, Microsoft, money, 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 money. Some people think they can outsmart me. Maybe. Maybe. I've yet to meet one that can outsmart a bullet. But uh, there's also some first pictures that were released of Gears of War 3 uh, in a Russian magazine of all places. I just, it's fucking weird. Yeah, According to Cliff Blazinski, the lead designer of Gears, he said the text related to the pictures is bullshit, so don't pay attention to the text. But the pictures, you know, they show some, some new creature designs, uh, some new mm -hmm. clips of the world, there's some concept art that looks really cool. I'm, there's supposed to be a boat, uh, a huge boat level. Like a, yeah, like an aircraft carrier yeah, style thing. Yeah, like bigger than aircraft carrier. And then there was a picture of what looked like a group of aliens just destroying the locusts. And it was in the trailer, too, where apparently there's going to be a third enemy. So I'm guessing the enemy of my en enemy is my friend concept going to happen. And you're going to team up locusts to take out the, the really bad, bad guy. You think you know bad, huh? You're a fucking choir boy compared to me! A choir boy! For this week's badass thing of the week, coming out today on the 7th, there is a Mega Man fan film. That you, was you can watch it for free on Screw Attack. Screw Attack. And it looks, for a fan film, it looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm psyched. We haven't watched it yet, but we're going to watch it, and then we're going to give you our review of it on Monday with yes. the rest of our reviews. But uh, we're going to be a little kinder to this than we would like a normal movie because it is a fan film. Yeah, we're not going to try to rip it apart. We're not going to come down harsh on it. We're not going to be like, well, it's a fa it's still a movie, so it needs to be rated up there with exactly all the other... No. Yeah. No. All mov not all movies are equal. I've talked about this before. This movie is a fan film. We're going to treat it as a fan film and respect it because these people love Mega Man and they wanted to do something with it, at least more than Capcom... Is fucking done with it. Well, Capcom did uh, what they 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 did, did um, trademark Mega Man Universe, so maybe they have a new universe game coming out. But I want them to fucking make a, a, a Mega Man movie, make it animated, make a live action. I don't give a fuck. Just put a lot of money behind it. It's fucking Mega Man. I guess that's all the news we got for today. Yep. But for Monday, we'll be giving you our opinions on Iron Man. Uh, I'm going to be giving you my opinions on Dead to Rights Retribution because he didn't play it. And uh, we're also going to be, we'll tell you what we think of the Mega Man fan film. Mm -hmm. Also, we may give you a review on Mega Man, the vid uh, Mega Man, I'm still a Mega Man, <laughs> on um, Iron Man, the video game. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to rent that or not. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to buy it, but uh, <laughs> I might pick up Iron Man 2. Just yeah. to kind of see how it fits in with the, the movie. It, and supposedly it follows a different storyline than the movie. And it's supposed to be better than the first one, which really wouldn't be hard to do. The only way you can make it worse is make it like <laughs> Superman for the 64. In short time, your fate will be sealed, Superman. What? No! As always, you can uh, check us out on our website at TuxedoCast.com or over at MediaSlayerProductions.com. You can friend us on Facebook at facebook.com slash tuxedocats and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash tuxedocats. Uh, for two guys on the couch, I'm Joe. And I am George. We'll see you next time here on the couch. Well, now that your system checkup is out of the way, we can concentrate on other things. Like the interview, Dr. Light? <laughs> exactly.